hello everyone i hope you are all doing well um welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to the final installment of my smile journey videos i just wanted to film a quick sort of roundup um an overview and final video to this little series that i've been doing for almost a year now on my channel to show you the results of my teeth straightening and talk through the process in general um, because I do actually get quite a lot of questions on it and so I thought that I would put everything into this video to hopefully help you guys and answer all of your questions. So I'm in a bit of a different setup, I've just got my camera propped up um, in front of my window. It's just very casual today, this will probably be quite a quick video, um, I've just compiled everything that I think you guys need to know um, and I thought I would just talk through the process and show you my before and afters. Just a quick disclaimer, this treatment was gifted to me by Smile Life but these videos are not sponsored by them. I just thought it would be a good idea to track my progress and to share the process with you all. So I have completely finished my treatment. My aligners are all done and I only wear them at night now. Just to start off with, I want to say that I am over the moon with the results. I never expected my teeth to look like this. Um, I didn't realize how much better it would make me feel, how much more confident it would make me feel. And yeah, I'm just beyond pleased with the way they look now. My teeth were never awful before, um, but there were a few crossovers and I just didn't love them and now I really do love them. So I just thought that I would talk you through the process. I did ask on my Instagram if any of you had any questions for me regarding this process and quite a lot of them were the same sort of questions. So I've sort of lumped them all together and I'm just gonna talk through the process as a whole instead of answering individual questions. So I hope I cover everything, but if I don't, just drop me a message or leave me a comment um, or you can message Smile Life directly. Now, just to clear up any confusion, my previous video are titled Smile Kit um, because they actually changed their name sort of halfway through when I was doing this process. So it's the same company, it's just a change in name um, and a slight rebrand, but that it's exactly the same. Nothing changed on my part um, whilst I was doing the process, but just in case you're a little bit confused as to why it went from Smile Kit to Smile Life, it is the same brand. So last year around November time, so kind of a year ago really now, I took my impressions with Smile Life, which I have a video on. I will link all my previous videos in the description box so you can go and watch them in order. That may help um, if you have any questions about the impressions process or the aligners or anything like that. So I took my impressions myself at home last November which was very easy really simple to do uh, then sent them off they then created my liners which I received in December um, a few weeks later probably about three or four weeks later but because it was Christmas and my birthday and everything like that I decided not to start wearing the aligners until January so I did actually wait a couple of weeks before I started wearing them um, just because I was like eating and drinking a lot around Christmas so I just thought that it may be a slight hassle to have them in. I don't think it really would have been, but um, that's what I decided to do anyway. So I started wearing my aligners in January of this year. So when I first put in my aligners, there was definitely a slight pain, uh, more of like an ache than a pain um, of obviously my teeth adjusting, my teeth moving. I've never worn a retainer or braces or anything like that before, so it was completely new to me. Um, this kind of ache though went probably one to two days after wearing the retainer and each time I changed it I had that slight ache but it got less and less the more I changed my retainers. I've had a few of you message me going through the same process asking about the pain and does it get easier and the top tip that I have for you is to change your retainers at night, put them in just before you go to sleep and I found that that way I was asleep when my teeth were doing most of the moving so it was a lot less painful. The first time I put them in, first thing in the morning, um, and I could just really feel them moving ever such a lot and it was aching quite a bit. I don't know whether I have a low pain threshold or not, um, but I found it really uncomfortable. But when I changed them at night, I hardly noticed it. I'd wake up in the morning and it would pretty much be fine. So I did really find that that helped a lot. So most of the aligners that I had fitted my teeth really, really well. Um, I just started them in and there was no issues. However, there were a couple of them that were a little bit um, jagged or a little bit painful when I first put them in. So you can just file them down yourself. It's really, really easy. Smile Life um, give you the tools to do it and there's also a video online of how to do it as well. It's literally just like a little nail file. You just file off a sharp bit or whatever um, and it's as easy as that. So I wore my aligners 
all day long. It says to wear them for a minimum of 22 hours a day. I think I wore mine for more than that. I only took them out very briefly whenever I was eating or drinking alcohol or fizzy drinks or anything like that. I did have the odd sort of like white wine or gin and tonic with them in, um, but every time I did that, I just got paranoid about all this like sugar sitting in the retainer like rotting my teeth so i didn't really do that very often i just used to take them out whenever i was eating or drinking when i first started wearing the retainers i was really worried about the inconvenience of them and going out for dinner or going out for drinks and having to keep taking them out all the time um but really it was not an issue at all i think that it helped through most of my time wearing my eyeliners it was like locked down and everything was closed anyway so I probably would have gone out to eat and drink a lot more um, had the situation been different but obviously I have been out I've been out for food and drink and nights out and whatever and I never found them an issue at all I just go to the bathroom remove them and then pop them back in as soon as I was done eating or drinking so it really wasn't a problem smile life actually provide a little small blue case let me get mine yeah so they actually provide you with these little cases to pop them in which I found super handy I just take one of them with me in my handbag um, and put my retainers in because I know a lot of people wrap them up in like a napkin or a tissue and then they get like cleared away or chucked in the bin accidentally so I made a conscious effort not to do that and I always keep them in the case now those cases come in really handy because I only wear my eyeliners at night so during the day I can just keep them in them keep them nice and clean so my bottom set of teeth had 12 aligners and my top set had 17 so obviously my top set took a little bit longer I wore each aligner for two weeks before I changed it um, so it was quite a long process mine was probably one of the longer treatment plans that they do but it went so quickly I remember putting in my first sort of aligners and thinking oh this is gonna be such a long process it's gonna be ages before I notice results I started to notice results Results when I was on like a liner three or four so straight away I would see my teeth moving um, which was really really satisfying and now I feel like the process was over so so quickly I also did my IPR twice a week um, smile life provided me with this little sheet so these are the teeth that I had to do my IPR on um, and I had to do it twice a week most people have to do it once but I did it twice and it's just like basically a more intense version of flossing it's just like a little blade that you pop in between your teeth which just helps with the movement it makes things a little bit more comfortable when your teeth are moving so throughout the whole process I kept in constant contact with Smile Life and um, with their customer service team I was sending in my check-in photos as well which is a really great way for them to keep an eye on your progress and make sure that everything is moving in the right way and everything is okay so I sent regular progress pictures of each set of teeth different angles my side profile um, so they could see exactly what was going on which is way more convenient than a trip to the dentist it also helped me keep my smile guarantee with them as well to make sure that everything was doing okay personally I never had any problems or issues with regard to my treatment but I'm sure if you did you could just send them a quick email um, I noticed that response times were really really fast whenever I emailed over my pictures or anything like that so now I'm going to show you my before and after pictures I will pop them on the screen here for you so you can really see the difference. Um, excuse the ugly shape and the mouth stretcher. It's not the most attractive thing in the world, but it's the best way to see the amount of progress sort of side by side so you can really get a look at the teeth properly. Um, so as you can see on my bottom set of teeth, I had quite a lot of crossover. Um, now this didn't bother me too much because I, I never really show my bottom teeth. Now I'm going to a lot more because obviously they're much straighter but my main issue is with my top teeth. The two teeth, either side of my front two teeth, stuck out quite a lot um, and there was a little bit of overlap there and that really really annoyed me um, and now obviously that is completely gone which is great. Now obviously I know my teeth now aren't completely perfect but I just think the improvement is insane it makes me feel so much better so much more confident and it was something that i didn't really know that i needed as much as i did i'm just beyond pleased with the way they look now and i think the improvement is amazing so just one more thing before i end this video um some of you asked about whitening and what whitening treatments i use with my aligners i got a whitening kit from smile life which is this premium whitening kit comes in this box and it's basically just like a blue light you get these little pens and you just draw on your teeth you just sort of paint that onto your teeth and then pop this in it just plugs into your phone it's got like a usb 
and some other adapters as well. Um, so you can just plug that into your phone, pop that in for 16 minutes, I think it is. Um, I wasn't doing that when I had my aligners in because I just felt like it was a little bit inconvenient to take out my aligners to do that. Now that I'm not wearing them during the day, I've started to use this again. Um, so that might be why my teeth are looking a little bit white. I feel like the light and the camera um, sort of accentuates the whiteness anyway. But yeah, this is what I'm currently using to whiten my teeth. Um, I've never used any other whitening products at all. Um, luckily I was blessed with kind of white teeth. So sorry that I can't really help you with that, but that is what I'm currently using and I will update you on the results of that soon as well. That kit also comes with one of these, sort of like a guide, so you can see where your teeth go from too, which I think is great. Um, I'm gonna try and use the whitening kit as often as I can, but I think I have covered everything. I apologize if I haven't, but like I said, just drop me a message on Instagram or leave me a comment down below, or if you think it's um, a question that I can't answer, then feel free to email Smile Live. All their contact details are on their website, which I will leave down below, and I'm sure they'll be able to answer any questions for you. As I said, I will also leave my previous videos linked in the description box so you can go and watch them. That might be helpful for you to see the process. So all information is in the description box. And I think that's it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I have lots of autumn, winter, Black Friday, Christmassy content planned. I know I just said Christmas and it's only November, but we may as well get excited about it now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon with another video.